Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, we will look at implementing Dagger 2 in an Android application. Okay, now a few things I want to mention before we get started. So first of all, this is a very, very basic implementation. So I will only show you how you can get started and how you can um, use Dagger 2 in a very simple way in one application, okay? Now, the second thing is that we will not start from scratch. We already have an application where we will start to implement Dagger 2, okay? This application um, we've created together in a previous video, okay? So you have two options here. Either you can go watch that video uh, that I have linked down below, okay? Um, or you can simply download the code from the GitHub repository and continue on with that. So let's go ahead and have a quick look through the application. I will show you what the application does and quickly how it does it so that you can continue on with the code or you can go simply watch that video because it's quite useful um, in itself. Okay, so the application is called Countries Project. Okay, so we are going to um, create a list of countries. Let me just go ahead and run this. So we are going to download a list of countries from a API endpoint, okay? And we are going to show it in a um, recycler view in a list on our application, okay? So very, very simple. While this is loading, let's go through the code and I will explain briefly what it does. Okay, so here in the model part, so this is going to be an MVVM, so model view, view model architecture. Okay, here we have the country service that uses retrofit to receive the information from the backend API. So here we have our API that communicates with a backend endpoint, um, converts it using JSON and adapts it using RxJava. It will communicate with a list view model. Okay, my view model is here that will um, retrieve that on a background thread and simply update the UI. The UI itself is going to be, let me just open that up. Okay, it's simply going to be a recycler view that displays the list of countries and it has an error message or a progress bar. Okay, so let me see if that loaded. Yes, it has. So there you go. These are the countries that were received from the back end and we are displaying them in a list, okay? So that is the, um, the gist of the application. It's very, very simple, no big surprises here, okay? So like I said, if you want more detail on how we built this application, check out the, um, the uh, video that, we, that I linked below and you should um, follow that video as well. That will teach you the MVVM model view view model architecture. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, implementing Dagger 2, okay? So, um, by the way, if you want more, because here we're going to um, talk about the very basics, okay? So just the general structure of Dagger. If you want more information, again, check out down below in the description, I have linked um, some more resources where um, I have created a longer tutorial, a longer course that you can uh, find more information about this. All right, so let's get started. Let's open up. So I'm gonna hit double shift and I'm, I'm gonna open up the build.gradle. Make sure you open the app file, okay? So here is where we add all our dependencies. So the first thing we need to do, obviously we need to add our dependency to Dagger 2, okay? So here we have API that's going to be com.google dot dagger colon dagger colon um, two dot I think it's twenty eight dot three uh, let me just check I think that looks good so you don't need to remember this number obviously this is updated based on new versions of the API you can check online to see what the latest version is okay and then we have a kapt okay uh, the um, Kotlin annotation processor, and that's going to be com.google.dagger colon dagger dash compile colon, again, the same version 2.28.3. So that's all we need. Let's go ahead and sync now. Now, if this is successful, then you haven't made any mistakes here. If you get an error, then go ahead and check again your um, your how you typed 
these dependencies here, okay? So let's go ahead and assume that you don't get any errors here. That is complete, so our application now has Dagger and we can go ahead and use it. Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new package here and I'm gonna call this DI for dependency injection. And here I'm going to create a new Kotlin class that's, that I'm gonna call API module. Okay, don't ask again. All right, so the API module basically allows us to decide which, um, which components we're going to inject. Okay, we're not saying where we're gonna inject them, we're simply going to say which um, items we're gonna inject and how we can create those items. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a class API module. Now, in order to let Dagger know that this is a module, we have to annotate it with at module here. Okay, so we can see the import Dagger module. All right, down below here, I'm basically, what I want to do here, I want to move the creation of the API from the country service to the model, to the module, so that I can inject it here, okay? So I'm going to say here, I'm gonna create a function called provide countries API. Okay, so we're gonna provide a country API, and this is going to return me a countries API. Okay, now this, this is going to return And it's going to return this creation here, okay? So I'm gonna cut command X and I'm going to paste it here to return it in the function that I provide. Obviously, I need the base URL variable. So I'm going to move that from here to my API modules. Okay, so this is the function that will provide me the country's API. And I'm gonna annotate this with provides. Provides. Okay, so let me import that. There we go. So we have Dagger provides. We are providing the country's API. Okay, now once we will provide the country service, country's API, I want to be able to provide country service to my list view model as well here. Okay, I don't want to instantiate it here. I want to be able to inject it. So then we will need another function here. So at provides function provide countries service and that will give me the countries service okay and I'm gonna simply have return countries service okay so I'm just gonna create it here and provide it as an injection to the view model okay so that is all done here now we also need another component of dagger that lets us know, well, we already have this, where are we going to inject it? Where do we want to place these parts, these items, okay? So we're going to create a new Kotlin file. Here, we're gonna call it API component, okay? So this is going to be what we call a component. So the component makes the connection between the module, okay? And where we want to inject those elements that the module defined, okay? That is a component. So I'm gonna have a, uh, this is going to be an interface actually. Okay, so interface API component. I'm going to annotate it as a component. Okay, and inside the annotation, I need to provide the modules that are related to this component. Okay, so I'm gonna define modules here and I'm gonna create a list and the list is simply going to include API module colon colon class. If you have multiple modules, you can add them here. And inside the interface, we're gonna have a function inject. And the injection is going to be for the uh, service. It's a type of country's service. So what this is saying is that this component using the modules here will be able to inject in the class country service, okay? We want to be able to inject the API here, but we also want to be able to inject the country service in the list view model. So we need to define that here as well. So fun inject view model, 
list view model. Okay, so this component basically injects into these two classes. Okay, now that is all done for the configuration. Now, important step here is to clean and rebuild your project. That's because in the background, Dagger generates some files that will allow us to perform the injection um, for ourselves, right? So Dagger, the way it works is it generates some functionality that allows us to perform the injection. It doesn't use uh, reflection or any of that bad stuff. It uses uh, generated classes. That's why we need the uh, annotation processor. It uh, generates the classes that allow us to um, inject components into our files. Okay, so it seems I've made a small mistake here. I said dagger-compile, and you might have the same thing. We need dagger-compiler with an R at the end here. Okay, so let's go ahead and sync. And then we're going to rebuild our project. And this error is absolutely normal because we haven't defined anything for the API, which we will do now. Okay, so instead of this, let's go ahead and say late init var API as a countries API. Okay, so now that we have dagger, we can simply say here at inject. Okay, so we will inject the API here. Let me go ahead and rebuild this project now so that fixes the error there. All right, so that is successful. That is great. We have Dagger set up. And here, in order to inject this, I'm going to do it in the init. Okay, so inside the init um, block, I'm going to say Dagger API component. So you can see that since we specified an API component here, Dagger has generated this class for us, Dagger API component. And I'm going to use it to say dot create dot inject into this. Okay, since API component defines an inject for the service, then we can use inject here to inject whatever we need. And in this particular case, we need to inject the API. Okay, so that is the injection here. Now, we also want to inject something in our view model, okay? So in our view model, instead of having this here, we're gonna say late init var countries service as a country service type. And here I'm going to say at inject, okay? So here we're gonna simply inject this so that we don't need to create it ourselves in this file, in this class. And I'm gonna have my init dagger API component dot create dot inject. And here you can see that we have the service, the country service class, and I'm going to use this. Okay, so that is basically all that we need to do for Dagger. You can see that we have removed some dependencies here. First of all, we've removed the dependency in the country service to instantiate the API. The API is now created in the module. So that means if we want to test this file independently, we can do so while mocking the API, okay? Because it's created elsewhere. And we can do the same thing for the country service, okay? In the, for the uh, view model, sorry. Here we've removed the dependency from uh, creating country service inside here so that we can mock it and, um, you know, test it independently. All right, so now I'm going to run the code. So the idea is that if we don't see any visual change, okay, if the application still runs as before, then the uh, our exercise was successful, right? We have achieved um, Dagger to implementation. Okay, so let's all just uh, wait a minute for this to run. And if it runs successfully, then we should be fine. I see that the build was successful and now the app is running and we get our list of countries. Okay, so that is basically the foundation of Dagger. That is the main structure of Dagger. You define the module that we you want to uh, provide, that you want to inject, okay? And then you define the component where you want to inject the defined elements, okay? And that is what Dagger is, that's what the strength of Dagger is it removes 
creation from usage, okay? So it decouples your application in a very nice way so that you can uh, further test it and remove dependencies that are not required. Now, like I said at the beginning, this is a very basic introduction, okay? It just tells you how you can get started, but there are far, far more things that you can do with Dagger. Um, a lot more very interesting things that as an Android developer, it is really, really useful to know. So if you are interested in finding out more, check out the links in the description. I have a course that is designed specifically to teach you everything about Dagger 2 um, from getting started with the most basic parts, most basic components to getting to an advanced level where you can use the most um, you know, advanced elements of Dagger 2 in your application. So do check that out. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe uh, for the algorithm of YouTube and I will see you in my next video.